like five through the eyes of Wagon the Wagoner, the Alephaman who escaped his world of L before dark matter magic consumed it. I fall silent after the boyish looking dampier human wizard known as Flamma informs me of Border Town's many perils, greatest of which is Mobius. I followed the boy wizard and his golem companion down the straight stone road aligned with cottage homes. The dampier wizard boy with the ridiculously wide wizard hat is forced to take two steps to match one of my strides. Yet remarkably, I seem to appear as a diminutive human warrior to my new allies and to the unthreatened human townsfolk. Flama gazes up at my illusionary appearance of the dampier known as Toreg. He tells me, my friend, you shall soon face many trials within border town, such as accepting or denying Mustarg's arranged fistfight. Remain courageous. If you accept Mustarg's challenge, win or lose, you have already won. Telepathically, Thomas, my magical spear friend, speaks to me. Despite your great size and your toughness as a fighter vegan, I fear you shall most likely lose an unarmed brawl with Mustarg. The Dampier is at least your equal in strength, but he is far more explosive, agile, and skilled than you. I have already been warned. Agnes's golem speaks in a startlingly monotone voice that defied her feminine face. Flamma, the outworlder should not entertain Mustarg's challenge. I know you wish to keep his support, since his illusion of being Toreg shall keep us popular with the townsfolk, but I believe he may attempt to turn the citizens against us. Mustarg appeared trustworthy at one point, Flamma argued with Agnes's golem. There is something you should know about me, otherworld ally, Agnes's golem tells Vagan. The form you see before you is not my true form. It is a magical creation, an earth golem. It is a hollow husk without organs or lifeblood. It obeys my mental commands from afar, within the safety of my home. Agnes is a powerful sorceress, Flamma explained the obvious. Friend, Agnes says to you, before we meet in person, before you meet my true form soon, I want you to experience the moment my life changed entirely. Two years earlier, I had been a dying sorceress in search of life as a human or even as a golem. Flamma, pray show him our memory of the day you found me. Flamma pursed his thin lips together. I shall show him that memory. Give me a moment, sorceress. After a pause of thought, the feminine-voiced boy wizard chanted in the same foreign tongue he had spoken in to activate his insightful memory magic of the time Mobius struck down Toreg. After he finishes his guttural song, he places a single finger lightly on my forehead. Suddenly, I am watching Toreg in a memory of the past. Besides the warrior stands the red-robed form of Flamma, his round face concealed beneath his wide-brimmed red hat. Across from Flamma, Agnes's golem stands guard over a her creator's pale-faced mortal form. Besides the sorceress, a robed man with elongated earlobes stares at with eyes wet with hope and fear. Flamma offers the gaunt Agnes an iron bowl filled with water that gleams like a thousand sun-touched diamonds. As soon as the sorceress sips from the water, her haggard skin inflates with youth and vitality. You hear hundreds of individual blades of swaying grass swoosh in that joyful moment of Agnes's healing. Your sensitive elephant ears detect her heavy, joy-filled breaths of air. Your long trunk nose detects a scent of hope exuding off her glistening skin. Thank you, says the gray-robed young woman with a full-lipped, beautiful smile to Flamma. My name is Agnes. She points at the man behind her. This is Tubin, my fiancé, and this, she directs her finger at the silent archer, is my flesh golem. I created her. Flamma stares deeply into Agnes's azure eyes. Sorceress, I only healed you temporarily. The only way I can fully heal you is to transform you into what you must know I am. Do you understand? I understand, Agnes answered within the memory of their first encounter. I wish to risk my life for your creator-given gift. Make me a Dampier, or I shall die peacefully within your noble attempt to help me. End of Shadowlight 5. Read Wagan's answer. Choice of loyalty below in YouTube description box.